Okay, so I sprayed it. It's called Kmart Varnish and the link will be below the video and my Amazon recommendations. And then a Krylon Archival UV uh, spray for the final coat after I do the embellishing. So now it has a shiny that's from the Kmart varnish and that keeps the color from bleeding into your white pen for marking. So I'm using Posca pens which are oil based. They're fabulous. This comes in a set. It's the larger one and then I buy these individually and I'm going to use the smaller one not the larger one. Uh, it, it's just more prone to do better details. This would be too wide of a line for this piece. If it were a large piece it might be different with larger details. Then I have a Sharpie which I always sign my name in the bottom right hand corner. Very few things that I've done in 2022 so far. So now I might could use this which has the really big nib. I might could use it just you know here. And I'm just going to follow the natural shapes. That's the best way to do it. Okay, I think I'm done. So basically just defining shapes to make it kind of look like cone flowers, but not really cone flowers, it's just make believe. And um, the illusion of leaves and just pods or things, you know, it's you give uninteresting areas some interest with little shapes and made up things. It's quite fun to do because there is no right or wrong. You just create and it's really really fun. Just looking one last time to see if there's any details that I'm missing. Cleaning up any areas that I think might need to be cleaned up. because once this dries then I will seal it so the, the areas that I don't particularly like I added the little white and black dots just to kind of cover some really dark areas that just kind of bothered me you know where your alcohol inks kind of pile up and they just kind of get really really dark um, just taking away some of those dark areas and again just cr creating interest in things that are not super interesting
and not realistic. You know, this is not reality. This is make-believe. So it's just um, taking what you've gotten organically and making it into something that you feel is beautiful. This is actually a commission, and I'm hoping she'll like it. She's in Australia. I have never shipped anything to Australia before, so this is a new one for me. But I'm happy with it. I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to achieve the same look as I did before on one of my previous ones and it does not look like the other one exactly but it's similar enough and um, let me bring it in for some details here so you can see it without the, all the reflection on it very organic just kind of going with the flow so there it is, another fun, floral, organic alcohol ink piece. I am really so happy that I was exposed to alcohol inks um, by many people, but especially my friend Heather Mater uh, is the one who really kind of got me going trying alcohol inks, and you know I took one of her courses and. I kind of fell in love with it and you just learn to create your own unique style and then you know you just kind of go with it. People inspire you and it just uh, gets you going in a different direction than you ever dreamed you might go possibly. I never thought I would dabble with alcohol inks at all. I never thought I had any interest in it but it's really quite fun and it's a way to, to create bold colors kind of in a smaller format. Uh, I love acrylic pouring but it can become a huge mess, a lot of cleanup, a lot of mixing and uh, the cool part about alcohol inks is it's usually a 9 by 12 or a 12 by 12 or circles and you know I've, I've got other shapes I haven't tried yet but you can kind of keep it in a condensed space and you don't have to have an airbrush. You can use your little pump air thing like I've used, which is on my Amazon link, and it just literally it puffs out air, or you can use a straw. And so you can use very simple tools to make beautiful pieces of artwork. And the sky is the limit as to what you can create. So I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed watching the process as it evolved, and there will be lots more. So, happy creating. Please check out all the links below the video. Come join my Facebook group. Come join the Facebook group that Heather Mater and I started called Art Healing Hearts Auctions. There's a link below the video, also our website that is linked to that Facebook group to get on the newsletter list. And if you're an artist that's interested in selling pieces through an auction, it's not a charity. Uh, it is a, an a opportunity for artists to be connected with potential clients or customers, collectors, and uh, there is a small commission it's less than what you would probably use in a gallery and um, it's a fun experience We're, we've got one coming up in March and then we'll do one, uh, one a couple of months later so I'm really super excited so I hope you will come join us at least if nothing else for the moral support over in the Facebook group so thank you so much have a great day see you next time bye bye